Just a quick test of the Web SDR maintained by the Stoke-on-Trent Amateur Radio Society. I had a casual tune around and came away very impressed. It seems to have a good receiver, a good antenna and a low noise environment. There are six SDR receivers and with a sound card sampling of 192kHz that dictates the width of the band that it covers. The antenna is a double size G5RV running between the 40 meter mast and the smaller 18 meter mast so it's at a good height. It's early morning our time or evening over there and the band is full of signals. There's a selection of amateur bands it's not all of them but it is the useful segments mostly it's the SSB part of the band except on 40 meters where the band pass is enough to go into the CW segment as well. Also novel is 60 meters, which is not an amateur band here. To control the frequency, you can either type it into the window. There are plus and minus buttons. Or you can select it with a mouse on the screen. You can vary the bandwidth and mode very easily. There are some preset settings for popular modes. Or you can make the bandwidth wider and narrower in finer increments. We'll just try some different filters. One of the most interesting things about this is hearing what the same frequency sounds like in other parts of the world. There are times when I tried to call that station and the frequency was clear here, but it wasn't over there. It's early morning our time, just after sunrise, and 40 metres is full of signals. Further up is a lot quieter, and I should be able to find a free spot where I can do some tests. Having found a clear frequency in Europe, and checked that it's also clear here, it was time to send some morse and see if the signal could be heard. I'm running 100 watts to a dipole. Playing with this receiver is great fun. Not a substitute for your own radio equipment, but it gives you an insight as to what conditions are like on the other side of the world. The URL is in the description below, or you can just type in hackgreensdr.org 8901.